Back to Space Engineers on the Xbox One. This is a very short video, not so much a tutorial, but a description of several things. I noticed a, uh, a comment recently on one of the Facebook groups, the Facebook group for the uh, Space Engineers community I'm in, and it got me to thinking, let's show the visual difference between small and large grid blocks in terms of connectors ejectors and collectors so here you go straight away this is a large grid and if you remember you can switch when you're building blocks by simply looking at the particular grid so this is a large grid block on a large grid will come out large grid my small grid ship will come out small if I want to switch at any time, hold down the left bumper and press X and you'll switch between the large and the small grid block. Now, what you might notice with connectors is they're pretty big. I mean, look at this. This is a large grid connector. It's quite large. It will link up with a small grid connector, so don't worry about that. This is a large grid collector, small grid collector, a small grid ejector, and a, hmm, there is no large grid ejector. This is because connectors on large grids can be told to throw out whatever comes into them. So you can actually make a ejector using one of those. Now, the reason you might want an ejector is you might want to connect up a mining ship to a cargo container. Now, remember, with these cargo containers, there's no port on the back of the cockpit here to fit directly onto this container. So you need to use these small tubes or small conveyors. You can find them by pressing in the left stick, hitting right on the D-pad until you reach gas and logistics. From there, push left on the left stick and you'll find small conveyor, small conveyor tubes, small conveyor tubes that are curved, and the sorter. What you can do as well is you can cycle these by pressing A and you'll notice that's the best way to get to a build block because if you come out of this then you open it up again and say you want small conveyors but you don't want them you want the sorters you'll find you can with some blocks easily cycle through other blocks from this particular menu won't let you look I cannot change my connector I can't get to a collector or anything like that so it's always wise to go back into the menu you found them in like this look and then by pushing up on the d-pad you can swap quite easily so back to the particular trick now we've got our small conveyors you run one from the drill. If you notice, there's a port on the side of the drill. All the way back until you line up with the port on the cargo container. Bring a conveyor up until they connect. Now, anything that is drilled by that drill will be sucked into the cockpit, but also pulled through into the cargo container. But say you don't want stone ah well this is where the conveyor sorter block comes in this can let you hurl stone out of that ejector if you want to set it up you can hold both bumpers and then press the inventory button to open up the control panel from there push right on the d-pad until you're on toggle block then push down on the d-pad until you reach the collector uh, ejector you'll notice the various things there we don't want 
any of that at the moment. Not yet. But remember it. What we want is to go back to that window with the left stick, then come down to the small conveyor sorter, then across with the left stick, and then down until we tell it to drain all. Then we come down again. Now we want a whitelist. Then we want to come down again until we reach the filters. And you'll see there is a lot of filters. What you're looking for is stone. So use the D-pad. Scroll down until you reach stone. So we're coming up on stone doing this slowly so you can see stone once you have stone highlighted let go of the d-pad push it down once on the left stick press a and you will now actively filter stone out of the system then what you want is you want to go back to your ejector and then you want to tell it to throw out now Whenever stone comes through this system instead of iron, the iron will pass straight through this system and into your cargo container. Same with any ores, but the stone will get thrown out of the side through that ejector. And if you want to drop off your goods to a base, like I've got here, you're going to need a connector. So. You'll find that under Gas and Logistics. There it is. Again, you can swap with A till you find the one you want. You want a connector. Press the right bumper to confirm it. And as you know, you can rotate using the D-pad until you get it to a line like that. The port's on the back of the cargo container and on the connector are now aligned. And there you have a small grid connector which you can use to offload anything that's in that cargo container. When you land on the base you'd simply connect to the base connector, switch the lock which I've covered in my other tutorial videos and you're away. So hopefully this explains the difference between the various sizes why these things still look quite big and can confuse you in terms of large and small grids. How to connect up a cargo container to a miner. Use an ejector to throw out stone using a small sorter. And basically that will get your infrastructure up and running so you can use your mining ship Bring all that lovely ore back, ignore the stone, unless you really want it. And you can put a switch in the cockpit to turn that sort of block on and off, so that if you want to keep your stone, you can simply switch that off, mine as much as you want, bring it back, process it in your refinery, turn it into stuff in the assembler. Hopefully that's been informative. As always, stay safe, take care, thank you for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!